My name is Sister Constance Fitzgerald, and I've been at the Mount here for about 20-some years. And the first eight years I was here, I helped in the Learning Center. And then when I turned 90, I thought, well, I don't need to be doing this every day. So then I, I helped somewhat with the exit essays and that kind of thing, because writing is my fort. And uh, since then, I'm just um, living on the campus and uh, participating in all the activities that I can. And just my very presence here is, is my ministry here now. That's, those are my relationship with the Mount. I graduated from the Mount, of course. And I also taught two summer schools uh, at one time, one at Doheny and one at the uh, Shalon campus, uh, creative writing. But that was just a couple of summers I did that. Uh, other than that, I'm just here. What year did you graduate from the Mount? Oh, I think it was like 1946 or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what did you major in? My major? I was uh, English. Uh, I've been English all my life. Do you still write? Uh, well, I I write the uh, province's letter uh, to legislatures. Once a month I do that. I also have a group of retired sisters <coughs> at our center that uh, every month we have a me. I would I go to, and we have a writing group. It's very energizing for me. Those older sisters, I forget to say, I used to say I'm going to up to help the older sisters, and I forgot I'm one of those. Uh, <clears throat> but we just uh, write. First, it was just memory things, and then it's imagination. I uh, I use a lot of uh, poetry. Um, especially Rilke poetry that makes you use your imagination to fill in the as springboards for writing and they respond so beautifully it's just very energizing for me so that's what I mainly do now uh, plus every morning I at the computer I'm a, called a volunteer in our justice office which doesn't amount to much except that I am have the time to respond to all the action alerts for justice and so I every morning I almost the whole morning is taken up with that otherwise I don't do much where did you grow up uh, I grew up in a small town called San Bernardino which now is a large city, but in those days 13th Street was the end of the town and we always lived on the ends of towns and it seems like I was always out of cities, which was great. So, um, and I went to school there, I mean, I had the Immaculate Heart Sisters from the third grade to the twelfth grade. and. Um, just had a wonderful life because we lived close to a, a library and then television hadn't been uh, invented yet. So we, we loved reading and so I think that's how I got interested in, in words and in the use of words in writing. So we had a lot of fun. We, uh, we played in the, the streets, there was no traffic. We'd play uh, tag football in the streets, so Mama would play with us. She was a great woman. And um, so we just had that kind of fun. Rainy days, we dressed up and all that kind of stuff. But just a happy time with uh, no traffic, no television, one radio in the front room. And that's the only radio we ever had. 
but we didn't we didn't care because we were outside so much playing or else lying on the front lawn reading our books from the library. I don't know, you know, when I was young, I I had all the um, ads for airplane um, schools, you know, how to be a pilot. I thought, oh, I'd like to be that because I read a lot of adventure stories and I think that's why adventure is in me. I mean, I, I, I love going on adventures. I wasn't like all the ones you've heard before because I never wanted to be a sister. But God had his own plan, so when I was a senior in high school, I was just 16 because I graduated early. Um, at the retreat, I just knew interiorly God wanted me to do this. And my immature response was, I went over to the church, which was right next door, knelt down at the altar rail and cried and cried and cried. I do not want to do this, I told God. But then <clears throat> um, I thank him, thank God every day that he chose me to be a sister. But because I was immature, I said, okay, I'll be a sister, but I am not going to be a sister of St. Joseph because everybody will expect me to be one. I have two aunts who are sisters of St. Joseph. My sister was in the novitiate, uh, St. Joseph novitiate at the time, so everybody would expect me to be that, so of course I didn't want to do what everybody expected. So I talked to the principal, who was a, she was a wonderful Mac at Heart Nun. So she arranged for me to go for an interview at, at, at the Mac at Heart in Hollywood. So Mom drove me. But before we went to there, we decided to stop and see my sister in the novitiate at Old St. Mary's. And the minute I went in the door, I just knew this was where I was supposed to be. I entered in 1930, so I've had, what, 84 marvelous years as a sister of St. Joseph, and I wouldn't trade it with anybody for anything.